a towing capacity of up to 7,650 pounds and a payload of up to 1,600 pounds. The Jeep Gladiator's rugged front and steel box offers a dampened and three-position tailgate that is easy to raise and lower, with a weatherproof 115-volt power outlet instead, and a trail rail system for organizing all of your cargo as well as locking rear seat storage and a reconfigurable and removable storage bin located just beneath the back seat. The Jeep Gladiator will come standard with a crew cab four-door configuration and four different trim levels to choose from. You'll have the Jeep Gladiator Sport, Sport S, the Overland, and of course, the Rubicon. All of the Jeep Gladiators will be trail rated with standard four-wheel drive, heavy-duty Dana 40 power front and rear solid axles, underbody skid plates, and of course, those are less show hooks. However, the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon will be much more off-road capable with its front and rear locking differentials, its rock track 4 one transfer case, its electronic disconnecting front sway bar. You've got those two-inch higher clearance fender flares to make room for those 33-inch off-road all-terrain tires, box mono tube shocks, box rock rails along the cab and the bed, and an aggressive 4.10 to 1 axle ratio that puts plenty of torque to the ground. They're even offering the option on the Rubicon of a forward-facing trail cam that allows you to navigate through the unforeseen obstacles and the toughest of terrains and trails. As for underneath the hood here, we have the award-winning 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 with engine start-stop, offering 285 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. With two transmission options available, you'll have the standard, which is the six-speed manual, or the optional and efficient eight-speed automatic. And in keeping up with that essential Jeep brand DNA, we are offering open air top options. You'll have the three piece removable Freedom Hard Top that you see featured here this afternoon. And yes, that back piece does come off as well. And the standard, which is the Sunrider Soft Top. As well as lightweight aluminum removable doors, and that windshield does fold down, making this the only open air pickup truck on the market. As for the interior, the Jeep Gladiator offers a long list of state-of-the-art technology, including the fourth-generation Uconnect 8.4-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Jeep off-road pages, voice-controlled GPS navigation, and an industry-first and class-exclusive removable wireless Bluetooth speaker located just behind that back right seat. Now the Jeep Gladiator was engineered with over 80 standard and available safety and security features, including forward warning collision plus with automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control with door stop, you've got your blind stop monitoring, rear cross patch detection, rear park assist, a standard rear backup camera, and so much more. With over 75 years of legendary Jeep heritage, the iconic Jeep brand has been recognized the world over for its rugged capability and its go-anywhere, do-anything attitude. The brand new 2020 Jeep Gladiator embodies that adventurous spirit with its unmatched off-road abilities and the open-air freedom that you Jeep loyalists have come to know and love with the versatility and the utility of a fast-speeding pickup truck. If you have any questions about the Jeep Gladiator, for any of our Jeep products here on the floor today, my name is Brianna and I would be more than happy to answer those for you. We also have very knowledgeable product specialists floating around on the floor that could answer your questions as well. And if you haven't already, sign you up for a chance to win $45,000 towards any one of our SCA vehicles. So good luck to you if you do enter that sweepstakes. And I did want to let you know that we do have a ride and drive going on out front of the convention center. You can test drive a Wrangler, Compass, Cherokee, and Grand Cherokee. The Jeep Gladiator will be available on showroom floor second floor this year. That's anywhere from 8 to 8, so it's coming right up around.